What's up people? In this video, we're gonna do a how-to install video. And this install is gonna be on a rear view mirror dash cam. Alright guys, so I picked up uh, this dash cam. Uh, it's got the screen built into the rear view mirror. They call it a vehicle black box DVR whatever that is but uh, this is I found this on Amazon for I would think it was around thirty two thirty three dollars something like that and it claims to be full HD 1080p I uh, been wanting a dash cam for a while but I kinda want something that doesn't stick to my windshield or anything so I thought this was uh, kinda cool some of the specs on the side here Wide angle lens, 120 degrees, claims it has night vision, it supports a 32 gigabyte card, and has cycle recording. On the back of the box, has some of the specifications. I'm going to take a look at those. Nothing crazy. Alright guys, so let's take a look of what's inside the box. Here's the rear view mirror. This rear view mirror is pretty light. It's got the camera on the back there. Like I said, this is where you strap it. It's got pads so it doesn't ruin your existing mirror. Scratch it up. And then there's the USB power. audio video input and then that's where you put your SD card In the front here it has uh, buttons for your settings so let's see what else it comes with we got the cigarette lighter charger and this camera also comes with another camera so you got a camera on the front which views the front and then you have another camera that plugs into it and that's what this plug right here is for audio video in you can take this camera and run it to the back of your vehicle and it'll record both the front and the rear camera screws to screw the camera in and then it comes with two rubber, I guess, straps. And that's how you actually mount it to the back of your uh, existing mirror. And then you have your instructions. This is going to be super easy to install. Anybody can do this. Like I said, you just pretty much mount it to your existing mirror, plug in everything. And you're going to run this to your cigarette lighter for power. You're going to run this. If you want to, this is optional. But you can run this to the back of your vehicle or out your back window. And the hardest part is just going to be, if you want a clean install, is just tucking all the wires away. My, I'm curious to see how well the picture quality is on this. So we're going to go ahead and install this. All right, so as you can see, this rear view mirror is pretty much the same size, um, which actually is probably gonna cause a problem. So this is my first problem. Here's where the camera is. Take that off, but here's where the camera is. So this has to be offset so you can see the camera. So the being offset, it's probably going to be just like that. You're still going to be able to see the back of, well, actually, the stock mirror. So if you have a smaller mirror, like maybe in cars and stuff. All right, guys, so we're in my car. And uh, don't mind the McDonald's stickers on my rearview mirror. There's a point in my life where I really like McDonald's. Not so much anymore. But the point of this is, as you can see, in a car... 
this mirror is a lot bigger than the actual mirror that stock so this would fit perfectly inside of a car to cover that mirror so you don't have any of that overhang so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these rubber mounts that they give you just put it on one side hook it in run the belts around the bottom yeah it's easy just start off with the belts mounted on the bottom and then wrap them around your mirror clip them in make sure that the camera is not in the way so that's what it looks like from behind it's mounted in there camera has a clear view You're going to still see that existing mirror, probably about an inch and a half, but I'm just going to roll with it. After you get it mounted, you're going to take your cigarette lighter, it's your power source, and this wire is pretty long. I'm going to say it's probably like maybe six foot long. Now I'm six foot and it's longer than me, so it's probably about ten foot long. But what you do is you're gonna run it to the power source up here. Plug it in. However you want to run your wires, you can run it. You say it's up here. You can run it down your headliner all the way down to your pillar and then maybe come underneath your dash so that you can plug it into your cigarette lighter I'm probably just going to for now for the sake of the video and testing purposes and review purposes I'm just gonna leave the wire like that for now so how this works is this mirror turns on and off automatically with your ignition when you turn on your car so my truck cigarette lighter power source turns off when i turn the truck off and when i turn it on the power source turns back on if you have a vehicle where your cigarette lighter is constantly on whether the vehicle's on or off uh, that feature's not going to work for you and i'm assuming you're going to have to power it off yourself all right guys the next thing you're going to want to do plug it in for the audio video you're gonna run and run the camera to wherever you want to mount it to micro SD I don't know if you guys can see that it's gonna go right in the top here clicks right in and it should be all set to go so for my car like I said when I turn the key on screen pops on a little chime and then it goes right into record mode for both cameras. There's record mode for both cameras. There's me on the back camera. And then when you turn it off, by the key turn off your car it stays on for a little bit and then it shuts down so I just ran the back camera right there to my headliner with the supplied screws if you guys can see that just temporarily all right guys so I don't know if you can see the screen right there but um reading the instruction manual so I'm gonna give you some of the basics if you short tap the power button it's gonna turn that screen off so um, you're not distracted by it short press it 
turns it back on. All right, guys, to get to your menu, you're gonna double tap the menu button. It gives you your resolution, your photo quality, loop video, motion detection, white balance, contrast. All those can be adjusted. Hit the arrow button to go down. Gives photo quality, which is shows 12 megapixels. Loop video, you can change the loop video. It has a motion detection. I guess what happens if you do have a constant cigarette lighter uh, power, unlike mine where you turn off the key and it turns off, I guess you can set the motion detection. As soon as the car starts mo moving, it'll detect that and it'll turn the video on to start recording. It has white balance, contrast, exposure, boot video, I'm not sure what that is, screen protection, not sure what that is, video sound on and off, parking monitoring, the G sensor, which I'm assuming that's the motion sensor to set, auto power off, you can set the date, language, time watermark, format your card, Restore to factory settings, and it has the version. Alright, I don't know if you guys seen that, but it started recording as soon as I turned the truck on. We're recall, recording audio on here and audio on the dash cam. Just going to take a short ride. See what the picture quality is. What I'll do is, um, throughout this video, I'll give you guys some feedback and I'll bounce back and forth between this audio on this camera and the audio on the dash cam. Not too sure how the audio on this dash cam is going to be. Uh, the mic is positioned at the top of the rear view mirror. And uh, the quality might not be as good as I hope. Now during the day, the screen that's uh, in the rear view mirror is kind of washed out a little bit from the glare on the sun and from the sunlight so I don't know how um, helpful that's gonna be right now I can barely even see it from the glare at nighttime you can see it perfectly fine no problems at all during the day, it's just kind of a faint image. The thing I like about this is this is uh, cheap insurance. Um, if you ever get in an accident or something and you're trying to prove it wasn't your fault, whether it's hitting another car or say you're hitting a, another person, you can be able to pull this up and maybe use it as evidence that it wasn't your fault. Another benefit with this having a mic in it, if the mic is, um, the audio is good, good, you'll be able to use the audio possibly, say you got pulled over by the cops and something didn't go right, the audio recorded might be able to help you in a situation like that, even though the camera won't be able to see the cop, the audio might record it so you should be all right or you could actually use it if you and your girlfriend or wife's having an argument and a couple days later she says no I said this you could play back the audio on your dash cam and be like eh, no this is what she said so it can be used in many different ways But uh, if the audio's not clear, it's it's really not going to benefit you.
All right, guys, we're gonna take a little night drive. All right, so I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that's the front camera. And I actually don't think you can see because it has picture in picture. In the top right corner is where the backup camera would be and it's completely black right now. The lower corner there, that's the date and the time. It's not set yet. Up top, lets you see that it's recording. It actually started recording already. Then, uh, like I said, you can hit the button to turn it off so it's not distracting you. Hit the button to turn it back on and you still got your full rear view mirror. So I'm going to go for a ride and we're going to record and see what's going on. So if you guys found this video useful, hit that like button, leave some comments below, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.